Hello, this is uh, the animatronic, the baby, how I made the skull, and uh, as you see this yellow border right here, and also there's the sockets for the, the magnets, and you see how close I am to this servo right here. I have to make sure that I can clear everything so I can set this on there straight down and attach the magnets. But first I bring in the, this is blender, so I bring in the uh, STL file of the model without the skull and I just kind of model the shape with a sphere and cut it down and put it in the sculpting part of the blender and mirror it and just shape it close as I can to that border. And then I just kind of manipulate it some, just going by the X-ray here, give it some some room. But uh, this part right here was the structure that was holding the the servos was cut straight down because I didn't want to have no uh, round surface because it needed to sit down straight. So basically what I did is I, I copied the, the border and I bring it in and I set it back on the original model and I measure out 300 millimeters and I bring it out to the skull that was 300 millimeters away. And the straight down parts of this skull uh, needs spaces like the tolerance so it will close and fit correctly. If I didn't do this it will it, it will hit there and it won't fit right. And same for the, later you'll see me do the the, the supports for the eye and eyelids. It also needs to be, you know, gave them some space. But here I just use this wall here. I cut the, the sphere skull part in half so I can just mirror it. And then I bring in a, another piece just like it, copy it and shrink it down to get it to fit, get it close as I can, and then I'll just attach it to this frame, this border frame here. But I'll, I'll manipulate it some and get it just right, and I'll connect it together. But you can do the same thing with, with any program. I just prefer using SketchUp because SketchUp has a, the measurements always center and and I just really enjoy, you know, you get used to the workflow on a program. It's kind of hard to change. But this uh, eye sockets here are the, where the eyelids are covered. I just uh, modeled that earlier. And that centerpiece there is a stop. And that will be part of the, of the skull itself. But, uh. I just do a lot of editing here, editing the uh, vertices and mirror, copy and paste and reverse it. And I just do, and, it, and once again, the workflow, it just, it just flows. You just sit there and you just get into your own little world and just sit here and edit. It doesn't take that long. But, you know, a, a lot of this is low poly because so, it's easier to edit. Now, if it, was a, it would be a lot smoother, but it really is not necessary for it to be smooth in this case because it's going to be covered with skin. So, and that way, it, I guess, grit better. And also, it just, man, I mean, this is low poly and it's easy to edit. And if you did a high poly, it would take some time. It just gets smaller squares or triangles to edit. But I mean, it looks good smooth. Don't get me wrong. It's just uh, a lot more editing to do. But uh, I do the inside and outside. And then I, these are the opposing magnets. And I do measure off the 300 millimeters, slide it back to here. So then I can connect the magnets to the skull opposing magnets or magnet sockets and well, this is the, the magnets and I got them set 
sometimes I don't don't uh, record everything. Uh, I think I do, but I don't. But this is the uh, where I made the, the spaces for the the lid to, to uh, the, the skull lid or the skull to fit right where it won't bump this uh, eye support. And uh, I just copy on the onto the component and I enlarge this circle right here and I'll uh, extrude this circle into a tube or a cylinder and that way I can uh, do a uh, component in into this so that way it will when I uh, do a intersect with a with the lid itself It'll make a socket there. That way, it'll fit right. And if I don't do it, it's going to bump. And that's going to just have to be redone. But I'll just remove all this, these vertices here and uh, remove the rest of the tube or cylinder and just reverse those spaces right here and any uh, vertices. But uh, it worked out really good. I was happy with the results. This is my animatronic baby newborn, and uh, I designed this in SketchUp, and uh, this was. Uh, I had done a, a test rig, this is it here, and it was after I did the test rig, I, now it was time to put a whole skull on it and also uh, change anything I needed to change. And the eyes were made with the Elegoo Mars 3 and I molded and casted it in Dillon acrylic and used silicone molds and uh, they came out really good. There's a process of using uh, two spheres with a, with a hole going through both of them. That way I can uh, put a, a sphere inside of a sphere and make these eyes look kind of realistic with water slide decals. Uh, here I'm threading in the, the rod that goes straight, straight through. Uh, it holds the lids and the eyes. And these... Uh, the screws right here hold the back of the eye that way to keep it stationary because the eyes don't move it just the lids blink and putting in the three servos the three servos are in the head that control the eyelids the jaw and the brow and uh well, once again i had redesigned all this so i could put a a skull cover over this but i just thread those servo wires through the bottom and right here I'm putting a uh, neodymium magnets in place with a little super glue usually I put a uh, uh, epoxy there but uh, in this case I just did super glue but uh, here's my blank test here and then but after I set those uh, magnets in place let them dry now I just hook it up the linkage to the brow and I'll I'll plug up all the servos and test get them to center because they they need to center before I put this servo arm in place but uh it's a it's a fun little uh project here so right here what I do is uh I've set the magnets the opposing magnets already in place make sure they all line up correctly and I make a mark now this mark part of the magnet needs to set inside the socket that way I don't reverse anything because they're strong magnets you don't want it to push against it so I just super glue them in place and it works great Designed to go on like that, but 
but uh and here's a movement test of the eyelids jaw and brow uh, also got it connected to its body which has moving legs arms and also uh they also bend so but here's the movements that i got with a, a new head the skull really fits well you know as far as making my 3d prints move it's a it's a i really enjoy doing it and it's making animatronics is it's just a passion of mine